Hello again to his attorney Cronite. We are here on part two of the trial of Gina Lestrade. <coughs> Order, please, let us resume proceedings. Witness, you will now retake the stand. Hmm. I presume you heard the defense counsel summation examination. Oh, yeah, uh, Governor? Uh, I did, Gov. Uh, I did. Mr. and Mrs. Culkin. Corbly! This is blimey. Uh, this is going to be hard work. Yes, they are both criminals. <laughs> In this trial, you gave the following testimony about your action after you enter Winnie's Banks. Yeah, well, he was a better than son, ever in it, blah, 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 blah. It was Nash with blah, 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 blah. Flashbacks. More flashbacks. However, that was a lie. Yeah. Your brothers! Poor blimey! On to the item question. You rifled through the items on the victim's counter. We never done nothing of the saw. How do you figure that out? We will now give formal testimony once again. We will tell the court precisely what happened on the night in question. And this time, we will tell the truth. Each light I pass your lips serves to increase the severity of your punishment. <laughs> it's not like they are in good place anyway. And now, gentlemen, may dealt a crashing blow to your chances of ever seeing the light of the day again. I told a word pondering, perhaps. Say no more, Gov. We all yeah? We will be kick with pitch. Well, pitch? Alright, we didn't know I had two things over, but we were rifling for nothing. It was when uh, we heard the gangsters, see? But that's big jump, and all stuff went flying. Uh, let me do my elf give me a fright. I was thinking that sure has come out the door and get us nicks. We stuck every in the back where we found it, it's got up there straight into them in the back, black. We could have a shot of iron broker, see? We never seem to send a chance, did we? So, I want to see the other two picture. <laughs> so you're me to the fans accusation. You did indeed ransack uh, my windy bank counterpart top on the ninth in question. Er, not the ransack, Governor, no. That's right, Nash, that's right. It's more likely uh, we tied it up, yeah. What? E sorry. By their own admission, these brothers entered a bomb brokery under dubious circumstances. However, they panicked and fled on the hiring to gunshot, having first made good their mess. Mm, the way you say it is hardly sound like rough at all. We don't, Nash. We don't. Can I make it sound as a bit more cutthroat? I'm just a big idea that this man showed up at Winnipeg this time, right? There's more to their testimony than Mr. I, I'm sure of it. I feel like they've been paid to collect something. Hold it! So what you are saying is... The sound of the gunshot shocked you so much, you knock all those things off the counter. Well, you show one of us that much, yeah? He's been ever since to learn to keep his shirt on. Look, it was loud, right, right, blimey? Me that granny will never woken up that thing. Big brother screamed like blimey baby and fell over on the corner. Then I got over a load of books and candlesticks and some skull what not. I got a tang and some mud in it. What knocked over a picture frame that would knock them scale on the floor. You really master working quite a bit. What a racket of me granny would have been scared back in the grave and clad like that. So in short, the gunshot took you by surprise. And then some men with quiet mess in the right. Oh, Jesus Christ, get the shield on my... Then a sudden bam, 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 bam. Excuse me! You have something to say, Gregson? <laughs> Better Gregson, do you have something to add? Like I keep saying, I don't appreciate being lumped in with these scandals. Um, no, somebody out of the third testimony. You seem to react just now that Mr. Skulkin said. It'll make you think of something. It's probably nothing, of course. I wouldn't even bother to mention it, but Lee, 
Well, the fact is, cases don't get solved if you know the little details. How about just tell us what you're in your mind? As you know, we brought these fellas to the yard for questioning last night, and the statement they gave gave them told a slightly different story on what, what they're saying now. Uh, did he? You claim you heard the victim shout something out before the gunshot. Ah, oh, my dear guy, maybe if this rang a bill, not to mention it. Mm. Granted, it's only a minor detail, but still, I have a feeling like perhaps you've been a bit sloppy with your testimony here, huh, fellas? Ah, we have discovered with this testimony have been any more sloppy than he's, he's here to prove it to me. I shall be forced to bring the very harshest punishment to bear against them. Easy, easy. We get a ride in this time. That's it, yep. It's all coming back, me name. Eh? Then speak. Supplement your testimony with whatever details have. Miraculously turn, turn to your questionable mind, sirs. Uh, hee hee, ray, ray, you are. Gav, gav. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. Really? That's the thing she's asking for? Give me that gun. I gotta press. Hold it! So, in fact, you heard a voice and the gun show almost simultaneously. What do you got for the eat? You do it? Although, I if I pose here being honest, we are kind of wavering voice before the yard now. If I don't want to get shot, if you don't want to get shot, give me that gun! Kind of thing. <laughs> Carry back and tragically missed. <laughs> tragically missed. Mm, and where are all the voices coming from, could you tell? Oh, code for gold, from the other side of the door behind the counter, it's not the store room where the victim was from that. The voice you heard was the victim, Mr. Windybank. Oh my granny drive cause it was. My granny's life cause oh whatever. So that will mean that you both knew Mr. Windybank and the sound of his voice. Eh? So that would mean ooh. Oh, niche wood. Any ideas? Yes, cancel. Indeed, they won't. No, 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 no. We, we, we didn't know the Jesus. I was supposed to deny when a bloke and all the fancy clubbers giving us the evil eyes. If you value your lives, you will ensure your testimony. He's accurate and true. Oh, my granny's life it is. Oh, no, my granny's life it must be. This girl's a good job, this granny's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Granny's dead. So summarize then immediately after hearing the voice of the victim, you I hear the gunshot. Causing you to stumble and upset ISIS on the counter, scattering them over the shop. Yeah, make it sound like uh, we're clumsy. Don't forget we tied up after like good little boys. Anyway, your boy is it. This statement contradicts this. Objection! What the fuck? You are saying that on the night in question, the victim, Mr. Windyback, was wielding a gun, is that correct? That's it, Gov. You got the picture. Ah, yes, Nash has her, no question. And yet the photography evidence from the time of the incident clearly show the opposite. And Mr. Windyback was not in possession of the firearm or of uh, any description. Objection! You surprised me. Does the defense really intend to highlight evidence that compromise the position of the accused even more? Uh. For the moment, the defense has failed to establish that the photographic print presented was taken at a suitable short time prior to the victim's death. Your chronolog chronology is severely lacking, counsel. Yeah, that's right. Too right, Nash, too right. The old Jesus could have been about to turn the tables in the girl, eh? Hardly likely. No, I'm afraid this won't stand as conclusive evidence. Huh. Continue with the cross-examination, counsel. And had my earlier warning witnesses. A skull king? Never a skull king. Some of the team rockets or something. <laughs> um. Objection! So you are saying that on the night in question, the victim, Mr. Winnieback, was wielding a gun, is that correct? 
That's it, Gov. You got the picture. Ah, nesh, 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 no, what? That's no question. But yet, photographic evidence obtained immediately after the incident clearly shows that Mr. Winnieback was not holding the fireman of any description. E, you would? Corb Bennett, in a right? Objection! There can be no question that the victim revolvers was used in the incident. I will remind the court that Mr. Winnieback's gun was found at the scene. Not only was it identified as the murder weapon, but it was found in the accused's hand. Yeah, that old Tudor used the victim's own gun to finish him off. Give it a go. Kind of thing. Hold it! Stay exactly where you are right there. Huh? If the crime had taken place as you so colorfully describe your testimony, it would give rise to undeniable and significant consistency in the final moments. We just acted out. Goodness, are you sure, counsel? You intrigue me, my learned friend, but let's see some evidence to support your claim. I believe this is all the proof you need. Objection! Unfortunately not. Oh. Give me to do that. Uh, the autopsy. So... Because it was supposedly to shot in front on the chest. According to their testimony, the witness claimed to have heard a shout and of give me the gun, followed by the gunshot. Indeed, with the two events happening almost simultaneously, or so we have been led to believe. Yes, that's right. Now, if that testimony is true, it will mean that at the moment of the death, the victim and his attacker would have been facing each other. However, in the autopsy report, it clearly states that the victim died instantly, after being shot from behind. So I stated before, there is an undeniable inconsistency in your testimony. Mr. and Mrs. Cook. No! But, but, it's got honest truth. It is now, she is. But I was a shot on it. I should give it a god, it did it. We saw it with you bleeding eyes. I were bleeding eyes. You hear your right just now? You actually saw Mr. Windy Bank holding a gun? Uh, somewhat like that might have slipped out. Ladies and gentlemen, you have all just heard an admission by these two witnesses. I don't deny the question they actually saw. With her own eyes, the victim wielding a gun. Which can only mean that despite her testimony, to the contrary, the Skokin brothers must have encountered the victim in person. Ah, e, e, nash, e, uh. Ora, ora, erde. Witness, explain yourself at once. Well, the thing is, uh, it was to do it will seem that my previous warning fell on deaf ears. I made it quite clear that false witnesses will be to death of you. <laughs> Ouch. I am to understand that you replaced the untruths of your original testimony with renewed lies. Uh, ever so sorry, Governor. Truth is, uh, we, uh... Cut it out, Nash, cut it out! Now you know how to do it, yes? What are you talking about? Let me make your position here perfectly clear. You will talk, there is no other option available to you. But you come on, the game zap. Chick zap. Will we go a cats for Carter? Hmm, guessing cats quite sunk in yet. No matter how hard you try to hide it, the truth will come out. And the line in question is now apparent that your brother meet face to face with the victim. I demand that you testify again to explain the precise circumstances under which this meeting took place. Well... Do we have to...? <laughs> On pain of death. I suggest to make yourself fully aware that this is your very last chance to tell the truth. Alright, so we just got inside into Gaff and needed a side of relief when the Jesus showed his mug. Relief? Give me the gun, blade, and the flea ass to his possess. Was it a hit? Oh, 
Oh Jesus, the plug was strong in a box. Chuck me over to the counter. I pulled my gun on him and then I legged it through the door into the back room. What? I never had nothing to do with killing him. That's what happened, I said. I don't understand what the fuck just happened. <laughs> So you are now telling us that a moment before the victim was killed in the storeroom, you in fact encountered him in the main part of the shop. Um, well, yeah. Sorry. W well, we found ourselves as a, an interesting juncture. They changed matter considerably. But, be honest, Governor, this time. This time, Nash. This time we ain't got nothing more to hide. Very well, Council. For the defense, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Oh, yes, my lord. This is it. The moment I've been waiting for! The moment we all wait waiting for! The truth! The truth! Hold it! You say you had nothing to do with this. Nothing at all! Nothing at all! Nothing at all! Nothing, Gov, nothing! Oh, Javier, you know, went and shit himself in the back room, didn't he? Locked Luis from the instinct. You know, the wheels will give her a try to open. At least there's a door that won't go that strong. What a bunch, bunch of inch. In the end, the situation remains unchanged. Wait, what? Inside the storeroom, the bomb broker there was only one other person. The sole person who could possibly have shot the victim to accuse Miss Jean Alistrada. Arg. He will indeed appear, sir. I say you do that, Council. I don't know. Is there anyone else apart from Gina who possibly a shot Mr. Lindy I think there is. I mean, Mr. and Mrs. Cooking. Uh, who? What's that look for? From the moment you admitted that you encountered the victim face to face that night. The course of this trial changed completely. It did? What is your point, uh, my learned friend? The question we must answer is, who could have shot Mr. Windybank? There is the belief of the defense that the defendant is not only possible answer at all. You have my attention. Is that case, let us return to this plan of the premises. The victim was killed in the storeroom, which was shocked, which was locked from the inside. Those are the facts, so pray what are the possible answer to the question of who shot the man could there be? Counsel, you must now provide answer to the code respect to two conundrums. Two, my lord? Twice as many changes to be right, maybe. Indeed, namely. From what location did the culprit shot the victim? And furthermore, uh, where was the victim at the time? In the sewer, my lord. Mm, are you right, Runo? I'm not entirely sure, but there's one thing I'm sure about. If I can prove that there is incredible new authority to what happened, it will change in our prospect hugely. So, now, time for some clarity. Show the gold cheese plan to answer to the question posed by his lordship. If you believe someone else could have killed the victim, indicate from where the person could have fired the gun. I believe that you can fire the gun here, right? Take that! The defense believes that the culprit could have shot the victim from this location here. And in answer to the second question? Assuming the culprit fired from the location indicator, where was the victim at the time? Inside. Take that! Could we shoot the victim from the outside of the storeroom? Continue. Mr. Winnie Bad died suddenly from a bullet wound in his back. Looking at the stain of blood on the storeroom floor, it doesn't appear that the body was moved after death. Which tells us that he almost certainly shot the, was shot while he was in the storeroom. However, the crucial point is where was the shooter when the father bullet was fired. So you are adamant that the shot was fired from the outside of the storeroom. Well, according to Mr. Skulking Brothers' earlier testimony, I pulled me on gun and into a leg that drove the door into the back room. Wait, what? 
What else was the if Mr. Winnie ran away through the door? You have to assume that the door was open at the time. Uh. It was a preci precisely that moment when the victim was fleeing for his life. That these brothers had the perfect opportunity to shot the man in the back once he was inside the store. Room. No! But come to think of it, do you remember what the prosecutor said at the start of the trial? How the fudge do you lock the room? We want to f on to the finding of Scotland Yard, Coroner. He was supposed to say the bullet entered the body on a rising diagonal trajectory. Yeah, that was also a problem. Means the victim was likely shot by someone severely short and high than himself. Poor man shot while he was running, as far as he could to safety. Oh, of course. He would have been leaning forward as he was running away. And if the bullet was fired horizontally, it would still have entered his body on an upward trajectory. So the culprit isn't necessarily so much shorter than Mr. Windy. Objection! Okay. I'm sure my learned friend can have forgotten. Can have forgotten. The storeroom do door was found closed and the lock from the inside. Because the victim was shot and fleeing to the room. Do you also claim his corp was dexterous enough to turn the key into the, in the lock? But, but, what if someone else locked the door? Yes, there's someone else who could have locked the storeroom door. Is that so? You think Gina locked the door? Very uh, well then, counsel, present your hypothesis to the court. As the sound just described, the defense assertion is that the victim was shot from the outside of the room, the storeroom. In which case, was shut and closed. Uh, Gina, yes. Take that! That's for Gina. She has the keys. Obviously, the person who locked the door was the only per other person inside the storeroom. The defendant is genially strong. Objection! That's absurd. You that the accused deliberately engineered the sealed room? For what possible reason? Such action will only serve to tighten the noose around her neck. I'm inclined to agree, I must say. Well, counsel? She also has the fucking... She also got the gun! That's the problem. What's the great idea? I was like, oh, let's shoot this guy, then throw the gun to her. You know? I was like, oh yes, that's a tricky one, that is, isn't it? How big notion I have no place in courtroom council. I'm ready, that, please. Of course, Ginny will have locked the door. Almost goes without saying, doesn't it? Mm, it does? I mean, uh, she has the key. Well, if it was Ginny in that situation, I know I will have locked the door as quickly as I could. I mean... Those two burgers had just fired a gun in her direction, hadn't they? Oh yes, obviously. But they used the gun that she hold she's holding, right? For the two brothers right, Miss Lestrade, Mr. Winniewag were in the storeroom together. Now, I don't know what went on between them at that time, but at some point, Mr. Winniewag must have heard intruders breaking into the shop and left the rest storeroom. Intruders? Uh that's us, proof. Proof? <laughs> if your theory is correct. That will leave the accused alone in the castle room. Yes, it would. And probably only moments later, the victim fled back through the storm, draw hoping to escape the Bang. Good. Near back by the bullet, Mr. Windybank fell to the floor where he was just inside the store. What we have to ask ourselves now is what would the defendant have done in that moment? Ah, uh, I see where they're going with this. Outside the storeroom was a terrifying killer who had just murdered Mr. Winniebank. As soon as the, that toss struck Miss Lestrada, she slammed the door shut and locked it. In order to save her own life. Hold it! Yeah, but, but, hey, hey, ain't, I mean, ain't there's one of his tenets. Ain't God, we ain't. You gotta believe it, it's same comedy we'd never shot no one. It's something weird. It's bluntly untrue, I know for a fact that you would. Because before my own eyes, you shot Mr. Hull Jones. Yeesh. There's only one logical conclusion here. Mr. and Mr. Sulkin, you brought us have every opportunity. To have the three... Uh, to have been the true perpetrators of Mr. Windybank murder. Um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Three brothers, I love it. <laughs>
That was amazing, Bruno. Thank you. All the members of the jury seem to be firmly on your side now. I know, first time ever. Probably the last. Mm, there. I think you've done it. Surely you have to give a verdict of not. Of course. Of course the prosecutor have to give a evil laugh. He he he. And I've been really laughing with my learned friend. But there was still a problem. What is now? She has the gun. He's laughing. Well, this is amusing, Lord Van Zix. I still find the defense argument most persuasive. I dare say, such a chi 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 chica chi chi chishanery uh, is the bread and butter of the street performers in your provincial eastern nation. But such blatantly malicious conjuring tricks uh, amount to nothing more than an uh, inexcusable uh, be petty forgery. Petty forgery here. Petty forgery. What? The hypothesis you put forward is so ostensibly credibly cannot and will not stand. Because you see, don't say it's a father floor. The gun! The gun! You mean to tell me that you are unaware of your logic failing? I say low van discs. Might be an idea to explain this bold bully conjury trick of whatever it is the troops on the ground name. The father floor in my learned friend argument is really very simple to understand. Assuming you are not to deem with to Carl bullets by George Count bullets. It was only fine two bullets, right? Oh dear. You know this then? Huh? Well, whatever you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, no! Brain power, please! Yes, huh? Tell the call how many bullets were found at the scene of the crime. Dos. And two. Two bullets. Correct. The first, the which hit the victim in the back and his life. And the second, the which struck the detective, my Mr. Sh my hell shows. Oh, he's a real to see. Indeed. The defense presented a picture showing the damage caused by the second bullet early in the proceedings. Yeah, there's the bullet. The bullet which injured Mr. Sholmes appeared to have passed through the body to strike the calendar. Your lordship understanding is correct. Furthermore, we know there are two firearms involved in the incident. The revolver belonged to your victim, Mr. Windebank. And a skulking brother's revolver. The evidence shows a single bullet was fired from each gun. Yes. Yes, indeed it does. A single bullet from each. Now then, my learned friend. You yourself told the call only moments ago. That these two brothers shot Mr. Howard Shelves right before your eyes. Yes, I, I did. Oh my goodness, I think you're fine. And if the single bullet that was fired from the brother's gun hit Mr. Show me means Winnibag was uh, not shot by the same gun. Stop. Only one bullet. Stop. Exactly. Yes, this Nipponese street performer presented an understandably credible argument. However, it was never anything more than a diversionary trick with no hope of standing up. Excuse me. But the problem is not that. It's just she was holding the gun. The thing I don't all that all that all that they didn't understand why she's unconscious. <laughs> Pray forgive the discourses of flinging the drags on this hollow nectar into the public gallery. <laughs> so he even knows he's flinging the bottle to the public gallery. It's like god damn it. I'm on six. Ah, free bottle! Oh psh. <laughs> this girl needs to open its eye. Oh, the accused Miss Gina Lestrade is no ordinary little girl. Despite her young years, she can regrettably no longer be described as juvenile. Juvenile? No, the person to adopt is far more lower bidding its citizen. She was a part of Riddle with criminal conduct. True is, the accused broken upon brokery, on the night of it in question, will lose some intent. As we can see beyond Darwin's this print, which depicts her threatening the victim with a murder weapon. Well, that is undeniable. And I have here in my possession one more piece of evidence the prosecution wishes to present. That disc. We take that whatever it is when we can kill the down to the yard. Thank you very much. No, don't. Don't give me the limb. It's mine! That's mine! I'm sorry, miss. But anything belonging to Mr. Gilded has to be taken in a evidence, eh? 
Yes, the music box. Mr. Gill, the music box is disc. Every day before the hateful murder of Mr. Windybank. The accused attempted to make off with his article, which clearly doesn't belong to her. And with none of the savagely of Big Pocket, I might add, but by brute force and brazen impudence. Good oh, gracious. Make no mistake, any sympathy for the accused on account of her ears is misguided and dangerous. There are no depths of which the girl's girl will stop, will not stoop if pushed the crime she will not commit. The call forgets the fact as its peril. Well, I want to see. I think it will be prudent to take this music boat to Iskin Ramon as the console. As a green pet. Um, Lord Van Zisk, I, um... Inspector Gregson, what? Yes, Inspector. We, we have a meeting yesterday at the yard with the prosecutor's service and, uh, um, I, I think it was agreed that, uh, that this won't be used as evidence. What is it all about? Why is the Spectre acting strangely? That's the first time he said anything to Van Zisk at all. I am unaware of uh, any such meeting. But, but those were destruction right from the top. The governor Bigwigs were insistent. Inspector, I am the prosecutor, and I alone determine how to present my case. Your warning is noted. Thank you. The prosecution wishes to proceed with submitting this disc as evidence, my lord. Uh, indeed, Bellif. Music box disc has been entered into the court record. Recordo. The prosecution has established the accused motive, paternity, and business of character. There is nothing more to add. You're gonna smash your big ass leg on the table. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I await your informed decision. I rest my case. So, so we have to. Uh, well, okay. I don't believe it. Oh, I had the jury on my side for once for all five minutes. Oh dear. It wasn't even for five minutes, you know? <laughs> no, it wasn't. My lord. Wonder if I might say something at this point. No. We'll see my foreman. Uh, been stumbling upon a bit of fog about now, if there's a bit all. But all of a sudden. That's very obvious to me. My mind is only one thing for it. Guilty. 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 We're here from the jury. Well, well. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. We got it. Guilty. Guilty. Has to do the Guilty. Thing. Guilty. 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 No consensus among the jury, it seems. It seems. Um, yeah. But you have a limited impossible. Whatever remains to do. Oh, uh, sorry. But he used the Sherlock, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes line. But you have eliminated the impossible. Whatever it means, must be the truth. That's that's my line. I wrote that for Hurley. <laughs> How dare he use it against us? <laughs> How dare him? Don't worry, Iris. I don't think we have finished yet. There's still more to this case than we realize. We realize. It must be because there's one thing that I'm absolutely certain of. Gina didn't shoot Mr. Windy back, as my own any doubt. Very well. We'll proceed with the second summation. Examination of the day. Uh, are we ready? Uh, got to explode on Prime, ready for action, sir. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I will each explain on what grounds you have now determined to defend us to be guilty. Rogue, always rogue, I say. Mm, different breed of us, low, abiding citizen. As only two bullets were fired the scene, I will say the whole case is done and dusted. Mm, you don't need a stereoscope to see the truth, yeah? Every which way to look at it, it was a pick. It was that pickpocket. Hmm. I never imagined that simple operation would cause me such grief. <laughs> what? The kids attempted to have on the previous day. I can see I'm um, in for a busy day ahead. Uh, the accused attempt at theft on the previous day. She knows. Interesting. I am ballistic expert. I have seen men shooting. There's nothing I do not know about guns. I believe him. 
Tabarish! I will see if there is little remaining from room for doubt. And what I mean, I was rather bald over my argument. But for the chap in black, I went to fall apart, when I fell apart like a house of cards, so that a jolly well bell had winked. Well, no more. Oh, they will call the stone against me. It's not fair. There is. That prosecutor is being mean. Just because Jean has done some things she shouldn't have done in the past. That doesn't mean make her a murderer! Allow me to savor this fruity vintage while I say I have a spectacle of your fruitless debate on matter. Uh, 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 fruity vintage? Is juice? <laughs> Here's the truth coming out, eventually. Really flammable juice! That's enough ramble, counsel. Proceed with the summation examination. As is all, Francisk is drunk. He's the drunkest guy in the room. <laughs> yes, my lord. <laughs> how, 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 so I, I wish like a prosecutor was like just drinking wine while doing the thing. Oh, object! And then just throwing bottle in the courtroom. <laughs> uh, 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 to press. Holy! Would you please stop muttering about things that have nothing to do with this trial, sir? The defendant's life is on the line here. Oh, uh, well, the thing is... I couldn't really say that it's nothing to do with this trial, to be honest. You operate the Sholmes, right? I mean, there is no question that the man was shot, but the bullet was simply vanished from his stomach. His stomach? It's quite inex inex inexplicable, don't you think? Stomach? I almost don't want to ask, but the surgery you've been muttering about all the times you were operating on. What was the fellow's name now? Herr Lynch, Herlock, Herlock. Herlock Schultz, by any chance? Yes, good lord. It was the Herlock fellow. What? You are well, the surgeon that operated on Schultz? That's right, he's in the very latest anesthetic technique, I'm out. It was fairly major OP, I can tell you. OP operation. This is crazy. This is crazy. Cray. Let me see. The fellow was brought no long after midnight. If I remember correctly, they say he's been shot by some criminal or other. So I opened him up like a shot. But the funny thing is, I went over his insides without fire to come. Couldn't fire the bullet anywhere. And after I was afraid I threw up my hands and just stitched the fellow back up. Yeah, he went out, right? I hate to state the obvious, but yes. Sure, he says because the bullet is still at the scene of the shooting. The counsel for the defense, correct? The uh, killer is showing this photographic print. Yeah, that's the bullet. The bullet is cloaking brothers. Fire as a Mr. Schoen hit him in the stomach region. Then exited his body and a lodge into the shop wall where the guy that I was hanging by the door. So you will find this really quite simple if you just consider the problem three dimensionally. Ah, uh, what do you think I am, son? Uh, well, jurors number four, and it's about the best I can do. As soon as I saw the wound of the man's stomach, I flipped him over. Uh, like a pancake? I'm sure you are saying that you checked his back. Of course I did, and there wasn't a trace of injury. No sign that the bullet has left the body at all. What? That's the point. The only logical conclusion was that the bullet was still somewhere in the man's inwards. It is utterly why I set up and slicing him up. I'm still not a bit wiser, even though. Even now, in my time, is I have to say it. Can somebody please explain how it happened? Can somebody please solve the mystery? Uh, okay, it's almost as much of a mystery and um, how this jury was put together. Uh, 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 so, ba -ba -boom. Objection! Those two statements clearly contradict each other. The idea that all do is patriots against each other. <laughs> oh, Balix expert. Pitting? Pitting. Pitting. On the night in question, Mr. Sean was shot by one of the skulking brothers. But since there was no sign of an exit wound on his back, he must assume the bullet didn't pass through him. However, the bullets were found, found lodged in Mr. Sean's body either. Furthermore, a bullet was found lodged in the wall of the shop where Mr. Sean was shot. Jurors number six. Hello, my name is Villain. Please let me admit you. His apparent contradiction is the fact that he's clearly troubling jurors number four. Mm, are you able to explain the mystery? 
I have seen very similar situation in Maderland. What? First night there was blizzard. I was running away along mountain road and freezing cold. Holy. The snow was piling high on both sides of the road. It was very loud and dangerous. My pursuer had handy rifles that were on dog sleds. Dog sleds. Mentally no, don't ask too many questions. Was shot from the I gonna read normally. I was shot from the high fall down in the snow. The situation was very similar that I hear today from Doctor. They could not find bullet in my body. No sign of it? How do you say? Exit wound. Then where did the bullet go? Nobody knows. Bullet never hit me. What? Well if it never hit you, why did you fall down? Bullet hit the frozen wall of ice very close to my side. Wait what? One small piece, very sharp, broke away from lamp, vice and pierced my pocket body. It made the bone looks like just bullet wound. Good gracious! Of course, piece of ice quickly melted inside me, and a solution to mystery of disappearing bullet. Do so you think? Huh? But that doesn't answer the question at all. Well, there's no ice in there, yeah. The shooting happened in a pawnbroker shop. Not some snowy mountain road in another country. <laughs> Just an idea, but we might not be looking at exactly the same scenario here. Runa, where exactly was Hurley shot again? Well, according to the report, it is somewhere sort of around this area, right? I think. Well, that's precisely where he always wears his little pouch on his belt. Pouch? Actually, I might have noticed something like that. Yes, pouch. He keeps a glass of fees fee fee out. Very dangerous chemical and he uses it in his investigation. You think he hits the, the files? So it was a glass. Doctor, where is the pouch of Mr. Sean was wearing? Oh, uh, well. The fellow had nothing like that on his person when he arrived at the hospital as a fire's member. If I may. No one discs. I realize this is forbidden for the prosecution to interject during a summation examination. Showing for the defense that I have at the power in question, the empty chamber outside the courtroom. Sorry? Well, well, it doesn't really help, but right? As I understand, when the police arrived at the scene and found Mr. Sholmes injured, they removed the pouch in order to assess the wound. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was getting forgetful for a moment. Since then, it's been my safe keeping along with all other evidence ready to sing. You think we're gonna find a fur bullet in the files? I can personally vouch for the fact that he has not been touched since the incident occurred. Very well. Examine it. I'm out of 600% percent i do not question with all this. pouch. Oh, examine? Okay. Okay, see? One more of Shams on the line. The question is it? Oh, look at that. One of the files broken. At the ladder around it is scorched back. It's almost it. The fire exploded. Exploded? So that night, the bullet from the school came brought a scan stock. So it was the glass fire exploding that caused the fellow each injury. This bullet did not penetrate victim, but was the fact in the wall of shop. <laughs> How delightful complex aroma. <laughs> that is motherfuckers sipping in my fucking cool room. <laughs> I will appear one mystery has been solved at least. That it had no bearing on the truth of this case. Well, I agree with that. The mingling and bar bargling of brothers shot at the rafting and a good shot at the pawnbroker. But in fact, that, that case remains unaltered. Hmm. But at least the mystery is solved, I can sleep easy tonight. Thank you, young man. You're welcome. Ah, thank you very much. Got a cool help. Duty being in the conundrum, just solve, go with the quest, he's scruffy pouch, holy pouch is in scruffy, 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 we examine, now summation examination, let's go again, please my lord, a little more time, after all, there's a new piece of evidence, a valuable clue, you can afford to overlook any of the air, there's still a way to turn this around somehow, I'm sure of it, I guess, I guess he is, Okay, let's check these out. Where did he went? Like, he entered here, right? He went out here? What the hell? It's very weird. Oh, the bullet is still there! You see it? 
the bl bulge. Here is Coach Badly just here. Oh, the strap is broken, look. It must be where the bullet hits then. Mm, let me see. Bullet's still there! Can, can I... Bling! What? What the? Iris, look! Yeah, I there a broken file. Was, do you see it? Ah, that's... The score team brought his bullet! That struck a light with a hideous pouch. This amazing discovery. What does mean of this? There were three bullets fired when we back that night. We found exactly what the jury was talking about. The third bullet! And press the jury again, I think. Press. What bullet? Hold it! There's a number of bullets that has you convinced. Only two bullets were fired, and the two guns that fired them have been examined by the police. When the parlor maid asks me how many are invited for dinner, I always tell her to count the tables. Well, that's logical, I suppose. Although... Yes. Sometimes after dinner, cro crockery does so go missing. One or two guests rather like to find China. Does your employer dine with thieves? I suppose... If there was another bullet somewhere, of which we are unaware of, I have a considerable solution. To the bullet somewhere of the scene. It's impossible. I can prove it! Allow me to show you then the third bullet. The third Take that! Bullet. Look at that smart look. Here it is, we discovered it just now. Yes, on the night of the question, Winnie Bank, Palm Property, and our bullet Hold was it. fine. What is this new trickery, you Nipponese conjurer? Where do you find the bullet? It was lodged inside Mr. Sholm's pouch. What? His pouch was removed from uh, Mr. Sh around Mr. Sholm's waist before he was uh, taken to the hospital. And since then, he has been touched by no one. Hmm, do you mean to say the shot fired his cocaine brother that night? Yes. As your old shape has surmised, he hit his thin pouch. But that makes no sense whatsoever. Where did you know that whereabouts of the bullet fired of Mr. Sholm's? It's clearly visible a photographic print. Ah. Two guns from the scene have already been submitting to the court record of evidence. Yes, that's for Mr. Windybank, that belonging to the Skulking Brothers. An examination of both guns revealed that only a single bullet had been fired from each. But, but I must mean... A third gun, that's right. You now know that the one on the night in question three bullets were fired. However, only two bullets were fired from the guns recovered from the crime scene. And until then, the inco inco yeah, incontrovertible inconsistency is somehow explained. We can all add and must not pass judgment. You <sighs> agree with that statement? No guilty. Order! 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 While this summation examination remains incomplete, the goal has been presented with new facts. First, I will appear to shake the very foundation upon which the case against the defendant has been built. My prerogative in this situation. I hear by temporary suspend the summation examination. By Jupiter! What? Violet, bring the witness back to the stand at once. It's gonna be messy, boys. Messy, messy boys. I feel like Gregson he will stand there to check on them if they to stop them to say anything stupid. Witness? Governor? Well, you're listening proceeding while the defense carry out some issues. We were the governor, we both. Perhaps we can dispense with the tedious bramble simply answer this one question. The bully was identified at the scene of the crime. What do you make of that? Make of it, Gov? I don't think I'm a thing. It's one of yours. Uh, Gov, Gobbly, not a chance. Okay, it's a case. Do you have a con accomplice? Whoa, wait, whoa, I never. The cocky boy work alone. That's the two of us. That's our train, mate. I'll soon we forget, forget Paul Sulky. And only two of the bullets from the crime scene originated from the firearms we have in evidence. The third bullet was fired from another gun. Where is it? Uh, Lamy, there is Kratcher. Hmm. Counsel for the defense. Yes. I should like to hear your thoughts regarding this new development. The third bullet and the mysterious missing firearm from when she came. Get back over to Altered Asme. We've heard all the evidence we've seen. I think I'm starting to form a picture. A picture of what really happened. My lord, I think it's clear what these turbulets tell us. It was called by 
I think there is a... They had another gun. They had another gun! Uh, I think there was a uh, compass. On the night of Windy Bank's palm, palm brokery, the brothers must have been working with a third man. Um, the winters are clearly doing their best to cover up the existence of these accomplices. But I went all points to the fact that there was someone else present. Someone carrying a gun. Objection! <gasps> Egg Benedict Cumberpatch. An accomplice, you see. Big, big squill. <laughs> These protracted proceedings have already forced us to endure to some mixture of examination. In all time, there has been not a murmur of a third man. It is apparently warlike being exists. Crushed. Gore must be shown hard evidence. Without it, his fantasy will be crushed. Ah, uh, okay. The prosecution demands answer on two counts. Firstly, poof, evidence that his accomplice will ever have seen of the crime. And secondly, the identity of this spurious character. It's called Mr. Lion, I know that. But how can I accept the identity of the person they're hiding? Well, counsel. I suppose the real existence of this accomplice and real the person lying there, even. In response of the prosecution demands, my lord, the defense is ready to present an answer. The defense is ready. I believe I can provide all the answers the prosecution demands. So, my Nipponese friend, despite my swinging eyes, is able to think you have something to say. These promises to be interesting. I have to push forward. There's no other option. I have to use every single piece of evidence available to me if it won't make the difference. So, in that case, counsel will ask you to present evidence without delay. The nine quest deal, in the moment leading up to the death of the victim, I'll prove that you have there was a third intruder present in the scene. So, uh, yeah, examine this one. I want to examine the blood. So, basically, we have to examine the Runa, look! It is blood! Yes, you're right! It's just most made of blood. I have a guess it's gonna be green. I felt thought it might have noticed that before. It's my time to shine again. Don't be waiting forever. Alright, holding with the disc, bro. I can get this done quickly, Iris. In a flash! I knew it! Oh, lovely bright. Wait, it's the color? What is it? It's just that green. It. It's not the first time we've seen that color, is it? The blood sample have been upgraded. Uh, I guess we just present... Take that! The evidence is right here in this portfolio. My chubby, the portfolio again is... Do you expect the court to retrieve rifle through your papers itself? Be more specific. Specific. You came to one of those blow samples, prove the presence of this third intruder. Well, which one is this? Oh. Present. What I'm looking at here? There appears to be some green paint on switch like around the bullet hole in the middle of the calendar. As blood stain, my lord. Blood stained? Green blood. Curious. Even for you. In a call to understand that the intruder was some unhuman creature. It is something developed by Mr. Uh, Halleck Jones. But a great detective. New invention, stop! You had appeared in the story, stop! This slide, you see, doesn't have a name yet. This forger sprays the camel that reacts with the different elements of people's blood to change his color. Different elements of people's blood? Yes, everyone's blood is slightly different, you see, because it's made up of different elements. So by seeing what color it changes to, you can tell him uh, in a flash whose blood it is. Ouch, that's pride of the whole extra dimension but looking at blood. Look at blood. Talk of blood, cold stream. Stop. Very exciting. Stop. An example. This shows the blood of the victim, Mr. Windyback. Ah, striking blue. Striking blue. <laughs> yes, you see green color blood same time. It shows that somebody else was shot in the main part of the shop. Hold your fire there, young man. It will be from the unrelated incident, couldn't it? No, it's not unrelated, as the calendar shows it. The date of showing the of the calendar is the date of which Mr. Winnebag was killed. Oh, by golly. Therefore, we can assume that whoever was shot was shot on the same day. 
Those blood is it. Well, the skulking brought to stand but appear to be suffering from any gunshot injuries. Which means it must be a blob of someone else. A third in two. Objection! Who's the identity? The call is still waiting to hear. You can't delay this any longer, my learned friend. Who is this alleged third intruder? Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict! I mean, uh, Agat Benedict. Agat Benedict? What on earth are you talking about, Council? It's a fake name. He paid a visit in Winnebank, spawn property, on the afternoon before it is said it took place. When the accused attempted to detect the event broken, it releasing this article into her possession. That's right. The main identified by the defense, Mr. Agat Benedict. Then attempted to take the article from the defendants by force. By force. Brooker! Brooker? Uh, y yeah, sir? I believe this filthy pocket thief had just redeemed an article for you, from you, no? Yes, yes, um. The article in question belongs to me. I demand for it to be returned at once. No, that's a lie. What are you trying to pull? Give me back my overcoat, you frustel. I need the list to say. Any music box. Disc, too. Is better, Gregson? Was there a time that I can attest to what happened? In the end, it was the inspector himself who took the disc. Can you corroborate this account, inspector? Um, yes, my lord. In the of being true, I asked Windy Banks for printer showing that fellow. Taken from the one who's red handed recorded. Could be necessary. Yes, that's him, talking to Mr. Windy Banks that morning. Uh, you claim this man is the, the brother's accomplices? Well, Mr. and Mr. Sulking. Skulking? Never seen the Jesus before in my life! Oh, uh, all my life, Gov. Mole, never seen him. Oh, fuck. Well, somehow, unsurprisingly, appears our witness disagree with the assertion. I'm sure your lordship recalls my learned Nipponese friend's actual assertion, which was that he could prove the identity of the alleged accomplices. Yes, I can. And show us the evidence! I agree. I see the proof of a clean cut gentleman in the photograph in the photograph in the field of criminal you say he is. This is the last piece of evidence. I had the feeling that something has been missing this trial for the very start. But now I'm going to drag and it kick in, screaming to the courtroom. Are you ready to present your answer to the court then, counsel? Yes, my lord. The defense will present the evidence now. Through that a man picture in this photo very green the world saying the fact blah 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 the disc uh the disc blot. Take that! Must be the disc blot, right? Yeah, as I mentioned on the afternoon of the day in question, the defender attempted to deceitfully admittedly to reclaim this disc from Windybanks. Which is when the aforementioned Agar Benedict appeared at the scene, I believe. This man then attempted to pull in articles from the defender's possession, no? That's correct, my lord. I myself were present at the time. As I was following this, that a minor incident occurred. But of course, sir, here it is for you. Very well. Ha ha! That shall be your farewell. Say goodbye to your style. Wait a minute, that disc is mine! Aya! Ah, what do you think you're doing, you little tramp? You, you don't blood, you filthy animal. In a music box, these are counter a small, or sharp metal protrusion over this surface. Those protrusions cause Mr. Benedict's finger to bleed. The resulting smear of blood is still visible on the disc. Goodness, a blood stain is it? My assistant and I have just analyzed. Uh, analyzed. The blood stain here in this very quarter. Using my trusty bugger gun. Yes, and we added the result to this portfolio. It's green. I saw it's green. So it's the same color blood around the Canada. The evidence is conclusive. The man calling himself Mr. Agatha Bennett was at Winnie Banks early in the day. His accomplice was present at the scene of the crime the same night. So there was someone else there. 
I got those two brothers now. They're sweating in the bucket. Oi! What are you talking about? It's boiling here! It's boiling? <laughs> I don't know what is the opinion of the defense. And Mr. Agar Benedict should be summoned to the courtroom to testify. It'll certainly seem that we can't even afford to ignore this judgment of pain. Objection! This has gone on so long enough now. This regular ignorance of the mechanic mechanics of law. We cannot call him. Alex Sholmes, you say. Further name. The protagonist in a series of short stories for the vulgar classes. Ah, how dare you. A god of detection or some such. How dare you. How dare you. <laughs> and now you employ chemical substances devised by the fantastical persona in the highest court in the land. You expect us to take you seriously? The samples made by this plating are not fit to be called evidence. Hmm. So the blood is turned shade green, what of it? It's to your sex cell to prove that not a blood in the world would turn the same color. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> and pray do not even think of suggesting that we should take Mr. Sherm's word for it. Uh, can we not just... Is he right? If is Mr. Sherm's concoction load of shot? Oh no, he means great detective. What you're talking about? Can we get away? Um... Uh, he actually, in the actual book, invented something like that, but it was later proven to be fake. <laughs> and you will come to this. Of course, Mr. Shirley's fashion is going to be recognized by any official body. But what other choices did I have? Iris? Just remember what Father Christmas of over there said before. Father Christmas? About how he was simply. Father Christmas! So Iris even fucking noticed it! He looked like fucking Santa Claus! I was fucking right! Fucking Saint Nicholas! Wow, well, okay. In other words, the examination isn't over yet, isn't it? Oh, good grief! Why do you just say, young lady? <laughs> In this major examination, the decision as to whether or not the trial continues is in the hand of sick jurors, isn't it? Well, the way I see it, it doesn't matter what certain other people think of her invention. At least, not for now. I'll make it go, like, I keep going with the thing because the fact that a third bullet was found, that makes everything a little bit harder. Quite a leavish mind, it comes down to one thing. Whether these ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I convinced that by what you say, Runa. Is that about right, would you say? Or did I miss something? Unbelievable. Mr. Sholm's partner is forced to be reckoned with. Iris Wilson, sharpshooter. After that shoot precise, I was situation from the entirely unexpected source. At Ten years old, I might say. It must be acknowledged that the previous summation examination had yet to be reached. Its conclusion. It is absurd. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the call now looks to you to your final leanings in this matter. As a proud citizen of Her Majesty, Britons, I'm sure you will count fair and just and just conclusions. Hmm. So then, state your final decision in turn, please. Not guilty. Not yeah. guilty. I will say no guilty. Not guilty. A third bullet. Guilty. Oh, guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Oh. Hiya. I wonder why the doctor say not guilty. Uh, guilty, sorry. Two call guilty and four call not guilty. Shall this is the outcome of the summation? Objection! My lord, with all due respect, this is an outrage. The prosecution refuses to accept this decision. On what grounds? If these jurors are persuaded by some half baked concoction device by a pretender to real police work, then they are too ignorant to be trusted with the judgment of anyone's guilt. I'm sorry, Lord Van Zisk, but the outcome of this amateur examination cannot be ignored. This trial will continue. Ah, oh, ha, ha. Take that, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, we found ourselves in a rather awkward situation. The defense has very reasonable requests to serve a bit of a new witness. But sadly, I fear that it will not be possible. Mm, what? The name of the gentleman I gave you for himself, Agabenon, is quite clearly false. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't believe it. That's when I imagine I believe the man who was there that night. Um, could I say something? 
What was that, please? Um, it was me, my lord. Just number five. Whatever you say, madam. If possible, Inspector. Uh, me, ma'am. I wonder if you might show the photographic print of me again, the one which uh, the gentleman has shown. Oh, right, yes. This one? You mean Benedict? Yes. There's no doubt in my mind. You're number five. You know this man? Yes, I know him. What? No. God gracious! God good gracious. Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, that. You're number five. Hold on, that. I am communication officer. Stop. As I clearly see. The gentleman is the photograph is stop. A communication officer. Stop. He works in my office. Stop. A very talented operator, in fact. Stop. He should be in the communication station. Now. Stop. That'll be away on the telegraph. Stop. Doesn't seem right somehow. Can't put my finger on why, but it doesn't feel right. Why he works on the telegraph? I suppose we all imagine that complex will become so sort of hard, hard and criminal. It's a bit unexpected to find out he has a respectable job by day whenever he gets up that, that night. Yes, I suppose that's it. I suppose that's why I felt something was wrong. If the gentleman is a London communication station, should be able to stop in if we in the hour. Lord Van Zisk, if you please. Yes, my lord. Make the necessary arrangement with all that haste. As your lordship bits. The call will recess for an hour. When the new witness arrive, we shall reconvene. Here is the gentleman. Testimony. Is better, Gregson? Yes, my lord. I should like to hear you from your specific about events. The bomb brokery of the day in question. Come to my chambers during the recess. Yes, sir, my lord. Very well. Calls are adjourned until 1.40 p.m. Wow! Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the end of the episode, sadly, and uh, so much shot thrown at us, and we have to find a conclusion, I guess. This has all been uh, puzzled up. I uh, hope you enjoy. See you like and subscribe, as usual, and see you again very, very soon. Good, lovely, bye. Objection.